This is an example of the 7800 library. The Atari 7800 had a pretty small library in comparison to the 2600. However, a lot of the games are classics, either arcade upgrades, original games, or my favorite, the homebrew uh, video game selection. Many of these games uh, you can get uh, easily and cheaply. Um, some of them are ex more expensive, but even the most expensive Atari 7800 games, cartridge only, are pretty inexpensive compared to other libraries. So let me start with uh, some of the arcade classics that I recommend. Uh, Asteroids, it is a two-player game. Uh, uh, two players simultaneously, and it's awesome. Joust, uh, again one of my favorite versions, uh, an amazing port, uh, actually one of the first games that I played back in the day on the system. Miss Pac-Man, uh, quite frankly the best port uh, to a home system in my opinion. Wonderful version of Miss Pac-Man. And uh, let me notice the boxes, the boxes uh, again are nice silver, they look great on a wall. Uh, this. Uh, uh, you can get a lot of these games boxed uh, inexpensively. Um, Xevious, a uh, great arcade port. Um, John Rose, a really good friend of mine, uh, he loves this port, loves it. Dig Dug, again, another uh, a great port, fun to play, uh, graphic wise, pretty, pretty close to the arcade. But, you know, like I said, the 700 did have some original games. Um, like I said, uh, this is a uh, Dark Chambers. Uh, think of it as like a precursor to Gauntlet. Um, it's a, a fun, a fun two-player game as well. And so again, uh, really cheap too. You can get this game really cheap. Totally recommend it. And then uh, this is kind of more of, of a famous, bizarre <laughs> Atari 7800 game, Ninja Golf. This one is a little bit more uncommon and harder to get. But yeah, pretty much. Uh, Ninja is on a golf field. <laughs> it's bizarre. Ball Blazer, another classic. Um, again, this is uh, uh, kind of sought after now because of uh, the pokey chip that it has. But um, uh, a fun, a fun game, nevertheless. Desert Falcon, which is a sh um, kind of a isometric shooter. Doesn't get a lot of credit or respect, but um, my again, my friend John Rose really um, got me playing that game, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's another arcade conversion that's great, Centipede. Uh, it is a two-player simultaneous mode in it. A lot of fun. Now, so for some more of the uncommon games that are the harder-to-get ones, um, Mean 18, yes, another rare sports title. Planet Smashers, Motor Psycho, Frogo's Water Ski, and Alien Brigade. All these boxed um, are, are getting exceptionally hard to, harder to get. Uh, again, it won't totally break the bank. I mean, um, I paid 35 bucks for that. I mean, for a rare title. That's not too bad, but again, it's really hard to sometimes spend a lot of money on a game that you're probably not going to play. Planet Smashers is not bad, but the other ones aren't too hot. The rarest game on the system is Tank Command, and uh, that one will set you back uh, a little bit. But uh, Loose Cart is the way I went. Like I said, uh, save some money that way. Some of the third-party stuff is harder to get as well. Absolute. Uh, box games, and what's frustrating about these is they're the they're different sized than a standard Atari 7800 box. As you can see, the box is a lot bigger, and uh, like I said, uh, P. Rose Baseball is pretty hard to get um, boxed. Um, Super Skateboard and Uncommon. Some of the other classics that I recommend: Tower Toppler is another. Uh, it's Castilian on Nintendo but uh, a good version. Galaga? Um, I'm not a Galaga fan, but uh, this is a decent version. Uh, the nice uh, thing about this version is there's hardly any flicker. And uh, a good version. 
Uh, Food Fight, one of my favorite on the system. Midnight Mutants, a uh, classic. Rampage, another good version. And uh, I have to I do a shout out. I have to put a terrible game in here. Double Dragon. Do not play this version. It's terrible. It's it's the worst version of Double Dragon, I think. I'd rather play the 2600 version. Um, definitely not my favorite. Now, the favorite game on the system. You have to get this game. If you're going to get one game that I show on this video, this is my favorite game of all time. Of all the games in my collection. This version and this game is my favorite game. Robotron 2084. Now I want to show you this is uh, pretty much what a 7800 manual looks like. Most 7800 games have a, a black and white label. With the exception of a couple. And this game is two player fun. One person uh, um, can control the... the character on screen, the other person can fire, arcade classic, it's the best version uh, on a classic system, hands down, uh, destroys the Atari 8-bit and the Atari 5200 versions, uh, and, and Commodore and other classic computers, I, I love this version, and uh, like I said, it has several, like over a hundred moving uh, characters on the screen at the same time, no flicker, awesome, fun to play um, get it go get it it's cheap go buy it this is an awesome game get a 7800 get this game the other thing that makes a 7800 awesome is its robust homebrew line and several of these have been made by Atari 7800 programmers and uh, here's here's some of the just some of the ones that you can get I don't have them all uh, that's probably the one of the most popular it's Pac-Man collection. It has pretty much, uh, with the exception of, uh, I think, Pac and Pal, uh, Super Pac-Man, and Junior Pac-Man. It has um, Pac-Man, Pac-Man Plus, Miss Pac-Man, and they're, they're near arcade perfect. I mean, it's amazing. It is awesome. You like Pac-Man? Get this. It's awesome. Uh, but, but like I said, uh, the same programmer uh, just came out with this, Meteor Shower, which is a... Uh, uh, Astro Blast, pretty much a, kind of a port of that, and it, it's, it's awesome. Two-player as well. Failsafe, which is a uh, sequel to Countermeasure, uh, an original title. And this one doesn't get a lot of credit, but I totally recommend it. And uh, it's really good. I like it. And then this is one of the most amazing um, arcade ports on the system. This is my favorite Probably of all of Pac-Man Plus's games is Junior Pac-Man. It is amazing. I mean, it is, it is a spot-on port. He did an amazing job. Awesome, great stuff. There's also uh, a couple unreleased games that are near complete that you can uh, get online. Uh, two shooters, Cyrus and Pluto's, really kind of shows the strength of the graphics that the 7800 could could pull off. Um, another. Uh, like I said, another programmer on Atari Age uh, made Wasp and Worm. Uh, I am actually a fan of Wasp. It's a it's um, Groovy B made this, and like I said, it's a uh, um, some people think it's a little bit easy, but I actually liked it. It's pretty fun. And then Worm, which is uh, kind of like a variation of uh, Snake, and it, it, a lot of people like this one better. And uh, I, I'm a fan of it as well. Good good stuff. Good stuff. Well, like I said. This is kind of an overview of the library. Again, I just pulled out what I thought would be interesting. And thank you very much.